done it, yeah, you're in right. previous years. The one year that I was upset is when we closed the thing for the whole week. Yeah. No, so right. I think the Monday and the Tuesday and take the Friday before so that 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 and I understand oh, why you ahead. don't want to take that Monday. Or that that other the other Friday. Friday. So Councilor that, McCoy? that's my point. Well, wouldn't the office be closed too long then? You'd be closed five days. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> it would be closed Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And yet the staff, so then what do you propose then, Councillor McLaughlin, for the landfill staff close the landfill on Boxing Day and New Year's Eve? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I, I think Boxing Day. Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Hey, Christmas Eve. Close it. Close it. New Year's Eve, well, I'm kind of debating, debating on that one, whether, uh, no, maybe we could offer, and, and that's too complicated to offer different days, so. But I don't, I think Christmas Eve, I would close it for Christmas Eve. Uh, as far as New Year's Eve, I think maybe just leave it as as is. What happens, do they, do they gain a day, Steve? Do they? How does that work? Because what what would happen? I really don't know because I find all this very confusing. Uh, uh, all all I am suggesting is is maybe we could keep. It. We get a lot of garbage on Saturdays, especially at the holidays. So if we could if we could close the landfill site at noon, Christmas Eve. Uh, New Year's Eve, I think that's very fair, and, and, and will accommodate the public. So, as far as the working staff, the non-union—sorry, not the not working staff, but the the non-union <laughs> staff. Sorry, <laughs> the, the office workers. Um, are we closing Friday and Monday? Are we closing Friday, Monday, Tuesday? I'm in favor of closing Friday and Monday. In the event that Christmas Eve does fall on a weekday, I like that you get off at noon. Um, and maybe a policy could be put in place that states exactly that so that this question doesn't come up every year and council changes different opinions every time. Councillor Olmsted. So are you suggesting Friday, Monday, Monday? Yes. Okay. The three stat holidays. Yep. I'm in favor of it. However, if Christmas Eve falls on a Friday, then if it did fall on a Friday, that they would get off at noon and New Year's Eve falls on a Friday, or a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that they would get off at noon, rather than, but not when it's December 23rd on a Friday and December 30th on a Friday. Like a leap year. Yes, that it's just the odd time that they don't benefit from it, but in every other situation they benefit from it. It's just this year, it's gonna be one out of every seven years that they don't benefit, or about that. So, Marsha, if you want to draft me a policy to that effect, and then we don't have to have this discussion every year. And I, I know somebody that could forward you that policy. <laughs> if you remind that person. Okay. Um, Cobden Legion, annual golf tournament. Uh, it was a tabled resolution. Um, so the tabled resolution was moved by Councillor McLaughlin, seconded by Reeve Miller. It resolved that the Council of the Township of Whitewater Region will donate $100 to the annual golf tournament that the Royal Canadian Legion Branch Number 550 will be hosting on September 17, 2016. Council, council all, also asks that these requests come during budget time. That was tabled. Councillor McLaughlin? And the reason it was tabled was we wanted to know whether that that request had came at budget time. No. Uh, oh, sorry. And did it? I had a request come in from Cobden District Legion Branch 550 in Cobden um, for this one um, back during budget time. Now, I'm not sure why we got another letter 
dated that. Oh, right, because Marsha wasn't here. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah, that's why I was here. But I believe that letter, the original letter, was for June. So on, Which I, I guess I assumed it was another one. Thank you, Councillor McLaughlin, for reminding me why that was tabled. But it was because you were not in attendance at the last meeting. And remember that list of all the items that we had voted on? Was that included in, as one of those items? Yes, it was. And it was declined or accepted? No, it was accepted um, and paid, so I'm not sure why. An additional, maybe it was missed, so we've already donated. Yeah, I don't know why that came back, because that's a, well, I, you may not have the letter now. It, it might be in another package. So, Councillor McLaughlin? I'm, I'm just wondering, in lieu of that, if we paid it, maybe we could send a note or a letter off sure. to, to them to explain why that we've already donated our whole sponsor for that tournament yeah. and wondering why we would be asked to a second time. Just well, for clarification. Yeah, that's Councilor Raker. And I just want to add that I do like this, that Council, that they, we also get those requests coming through to us at budget because I am, I will stand behind this, I am not in agreement of spending taxpayer money on golf tournaments when we're turning down so many other people. I don't know how we choose to pick and choose, but we do, and I think we need to kind of come back to that, um, back to that reality that we don't touch that. Okay. So the motion is on the table that was tabled. Is there any further discussion? So this would be in addition to what has already been offered, the hundred dollars. So I will ask the question. I have to ask it. The motion is here. All those in favor? All those opposed? Thank you. Not carried. And we will send a letter stating that uh, we have, um, and maybe you can just note that the check, the check number and when it was cashed, and that was for whatever. And that's my um, duties for the night. And we have uh, Councillor McLaughlin for Environmental Services. Could we have a break? Thank you.